happy Monday. Can you believe it's week four? Week four of Fit for Florida. Haven't lost anywhere near as much as I'd like to have by this point. Will admit I've been lazy. It's, I only have myself to blame for that. But now we're back on, let's get some more fitness done. I found another Pop Sugar fitness video that I'm wanting to try out. I did used to do Zumba three to four times a week on top of the gym. That's when I was like size 12 to 14 and enjoyed going to the gym. And I think you really have to enjoy going to the gym to really get something out of it. I don't anymore and that's why I don't do it. So this one, Latin dance workout for your living room or kitchen because I'll be doing it in the kitchen. So I can dance like nobody's watching. I've got the curtains closed so they can't watch me. I burned 300 calories in 30 minutes. That sounds like a lot of fun to me, so like you can tell. <laughs> you can tell what comes up in my feed. Tim Tracker and workout videos. Oh well. There's worse ways to spend the day. Not gonna lie, I don't really enjoy that one at all. It's not for everybody. Um I didn't get through all of it. My legs are still killing from the two hikes we've just done. If you watched the last so you'll notice. I'm still out of breath though. <laughs> still done it. Um, I did two really big hikes the past two days and I am feeling it. That's my excuse. Uh, <laughs> I'm quite red and sweaty. So I'm glad that I've still managed to get a sweat and I can feel it. Um, a bit disappointed in myself for not completing it. But I've only got myself to blame for that then, haven't I? If by the end of this fit for Florida I've lost nothing, whose fault is it but mine for just women out on stuff? But I'm a really sad shower now. Today I'm cooking a healthy version of lamb cofters. Is it lamb? Turkey. Turkey. Every time he Every makes them, time. he says he's making so. lamb cofters. He's not, he's making turkey mince cofters with, is it 2% fat yes, turkey mince yes. or something? No. It did ask for, don't worry, I'll wash my hands. It did ask for one medium onion. But I'm not going to put that all in. So We maybe. buy frozen onion because it makes me cry when I cut it. So we'll get it pre-diced. I'm usually on the duties of that one. So that's then. So in. in the bowl he's got 500 grams turkey mince yeah. and the onion. And it also said fresh parsley, but I put parsley on fish. So I might just put a little bit of mixed herbs in. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had parsley. We've got it. Have we? Yeah, but we've, yeah, we've never used it. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's probably unopened. A little healthy couple of pinches of that. Season as you like. Yeah, exactly. Because parsley to me is a fish thing. You don't put it on. I'm not going to put it on there. Uh, yeah, sod recipes. Let's make it up as you go along, man. Now it says three cloves of garlic, which... We use lazy garlic. Yeah, because it's quicker. Because it's so much more convenient. I would say that's a good... Hefty lump to put in. I will put another one in because we like garlic. It's good for you as well. Yeah. So that's it's that. Good in. for the heart. God, I smell that straight away. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing we don't have smell of vision because would knock. Well, would knock out any vampires who are watching late at night. Yeah. And I said finely grate one centimeter of ginger. Wow. But I think I'll just put like a quarter of teaspoon. A quarter in. teaspoon of ground ginger. Yeah. That'll do. We actually have ginger in the fridge, you know. We do, but it's been there a while actually. And for the the whole thing, I just thought, you know what? Use the ground ginger. Yeah, let's get it done quick. Uh, oh, wait until Christmas when we make gingerbread biscuits. Mm. Now for the cumin, it's saying two tablespoons. Wow. So, I'm going to use my Mickey. Got the big Mickey. Yeah. I don't know if it means like heaped or what. No, just level. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It would say heaped otherwise, wouldn't yeah. it? We've tried different versions of these, like doing the cofters, and they've all worked yeah. out really well. I saw this one. The main difference is just the spices that you put in. Yeah. Um, every time it's the really, really low fat turkey mince. Yeah, which is amazing. So tasty. Uh, well, I guess it's all the spices you put in that make it tasty, but. So you put one tablespoon of salt in. A tablespoon of salt? Yeah, I'm not even joking. But I'm not, I'm going to do like a little tiny. No, I was going to say that is a lot of sodium. Yeah, so I'm not going to put that much in. Uh, then it says one gram of allspice, but since we've already got the mixed herbs in, 
Yeah. Just put a few little bits of chilli in. Ooh, spice it up. Yeah. But yet again, I'm not going to go for the whole tablespoon that it says. Because I'm not using all spice. Yeah. We're only using chillies. Yeah, you can always put sriracha on after if you want to spice yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. There's no point. We always say it's nice to have heat, but you need, you need to taste what you're making. Yeah. Exactly. Sorry, I just cut off the top of your face there. You got a bit too close and I wasn't anticipating it. Yeah, it's okay. Cut the top of your face off. And so. then it says add one egg. Add an egg to bind it together. Oh, uh, you see, he wimps out and uses a spoon. Normally, when I mix it, I'm um, hands in. Right yep. now, I'm on about 175, between one, 175 oh. and 200. I usually have it on. That's because you cannot see the numbers on our cooker. So we yeah. have to try and guess. With Sorry any vegetarians, but yeah. you know what meat he is. So now it's time to put my hands on a bit of flour. And roll them up. So I've had a really good uh, lunch. Tea. 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 See. Turkey mince enchiladas. Yeah. With bulk of wheat. And chickpeas. Yeah, chickpeas in the enchiladas. Yeah. That's part of the enchilada. Because yeah. we didn't have kidney beans. Yeah. So. And a little glass of prosecco. Yeah, and one beer. Uh, but yeah, and then. Bud light though. Yeah, so then we went, why not? Come for a walk. It's not raining. It's. It's supposed to be, I mean, look at the clouds. It's. Yeah. It's getting there. We think it's going to... The next couple of days it's going to be torrential thunderstorms. Well... <laughs> you look so hot. It's it, it's incredibly hot. Uh, yeah, well... Oh, I've done my daily steps. Yeah, I, I did... What's your daily steps? 6,000. 6,000 because I sit at a desk all day. Ooh. Oof, God, it's scary. Pit. Pigeon. Just try to watch hackers. We see you. So Death yeah, little update. We're on a walk. we we'll keep up with the Florida. Um, I think we did well today. It's been a, I feel good today. I admit I had a Kit Kat chunky at work today, but I still loved it. Still loved it. And this walk is burning it off. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> in we're waiting every week but we haven't measured in every week so we haven't measured since the start and we wanted to measure to see if there's actually a difference between what you're weighing and what you look like i've lost one and a half pounds in four weeks which i'd planned on a pound a week but that clearly hasn't happened ryan's gone up a pound and a half but for ryan's weight yeah he's not considered overweight per se so I think it's like 40 plus yeah. it's really well. I've looked at the measurements. High arms and legs have remained exactly the same, but you know I know I haven't done as much cardio workouts as I would like to to, to work that off. But my waist has gone down six centimetres, so I'm very, very happy about that. Ryan has gone down his arms and legs each have gone down a centimetre each. And his waist has gone down two centimetres. So we have, we have actually seen losses, Doing well, um, yeah. even though the weight hasn't gone down as much as I would personally have liked it to. Um, measurements have gone down, and that's a real positive. I, I can, although we haven't measured them, I can see like the sides of, like the way your knee goes into your thigh on on the outside that has gone down. I wish we, I would now wish we had <laughs> taken that into our measurement uh, consideration, but that's gone down. So for me, that makes my leg feel a bit more streamlined and I feel good about that. Because considering that, you know, we've had a few cheat days where things have happened and we've, we've went out, I think we did. Yeah, considering yesterday we went to see my family, went to the pub, we had a couple of pints and we had food at the pub. For me, only to have, this week I've put on a quarter of a pound. Yeah. I'm really happy with that. Ryan's put on three quarters of a pound <laughs> for having a couple of pints and pub food yesterday. I'd say that's quite all right. Like it's not say, too bad. Could I have been worse. Could have been a whole couple of pounds. Yeah, and I think you know, seeing the measurements, the losses of the measurements, especially yeah. on the waist, that makes us feel yeah. a little bit better. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know what? That's we're doing something because yeah. the waist has gone down. 
Um, this week we haven't been able to get in a lot. We got in a walk the other night, uh, which you'll have seen. We wanted to get out on a big beach walk yesterday. Um, I poured all day. On Friday we had torrential rain and a massive storm all night, so we couldn't get out then. Today we are going to get some furniture to tidy up this corner. We're going to go out and about. Um, we're going to go to home bargains, Argos, a few bits like that. And you'll probably come along if we spot some cool Disney stuff. You'll see it. That's fine. We're looking in the bookcase part of the car. <laughs> Today, a pretty productive day, I think. We've been to Argos and home bargains. And home bargains at Argos, as you'll see in the video, that I built a nice little bookshelf for me and Kate to put the stuff on. And I've got to say, it looks amazing. It does look so cute. I'll put a picture in now. Yeah. And some other stuff, as we haven't been to this home bargains, even though we live. What, 15 minutes away? Walking? Live right by it. Yeah. We thought there would be some Disney stuff. There really wasn't, but no. we did find some stuff that'll help us with Fit for Florida, which was surprising, so we're going to show you it. So I'll start off with the tape. Kinesiology with... tape that I use for my knees, because my knees are shot. And honestly, I can, if I don't wear this, my knees just hurt at the moment. Um, but as soon as I put this on, I can hop, skip and jump about. Mm. So there's three different colours there and if I just refer to my handy receipt here, um, how long has it been? One is, they're all two metres. Two metres, so they're not the biggest in the world. Mm. I've got some in the corner there that I got off Amazon which is longer but it's £1.39. Yeah. It's really. And you swear by it so? I absolutely swear by it. Um, because I keep saying, oh, I want to get more protein into my days. I picked up a couple of these protein shakes. Um, they, were, they were a pound each. It says great taste on so you're interested. Yeah, it's about 201 calories. So I was thinking like later in the day yeah. when I'm wanting to snack, but I'm wanting to get more protein in, have one of them and it'll probably tie me over and I'll be less likely to sit and graze. Yeah. And we just picked up these and I have tried one. <laughs> Skinny Whip Strawberry and Chocolate Snack Bar. So the consistency, it's like a chewy and milky way with crispies in. Yeah. It was really nice. Looks a bit like a nougat on the... Yeah, it's, like, it's like a softer nugget. Um, 99 pence for five, so I got a couple of boxes of those. Then night, They're 96 calories each. Ryan's just nearly smashed his brand new bottle. Yeah. Which was 249. Yeah, 800. 800 mil. mil. So... So yeah. that'll keep them going, and it's got a hand little handle on it. Then, oh, these are like way heavy. So these are ankle and wrist weights, and we thought we could put them on our ankles for when we're doing walking. So when we're walking through um, the estate and yeah. walking nearby the house, and we do like an evening forty-five minute walk, we could put these on. Not when we're going hiking. Yeah, Not that, yet that, when we're going yeah. hiking. Um, and I was thinking, for me, I want to use these on my arms because obviously I'm working out my legs when we're walking, yeah. but I'm not really doing much with my arms, except for maybe filming. I've got blue for me, and you've got purple. And I've got purple, and they were 2 99 each. That's so that's really good. Now this thing, the abs wheel in the kneel and mat. Kneel and mat isn't too big, especially if abs got big legs. But uh, I had a little go before. I mean, how, how big are people's knees, really? I don't think it needs to be much bigger than that, does it? Yeah. But I had a little go, and it was all right. I could, I could feel it working. Yeah. It's like there, and I was just doing a little one. So once I get the swing of things and get being a pro at it, I'll probably put a video on. 
Who knows, I may attempt it in the future. That was 3.49. So, did really well on getting fitness stuff, Fit for yeah. Florida stuff, because it's coming up fast. Yeah, this is the end of week four, so we've got 11 weeks left. I think. I think this will help. Yeah, we'll push ourselves. So, yeah, we'll have a very nice Sunday. Yeah, well, you put that bookshelf together as well, so that was working out. We've since um, done a lot of housework, we've been up and down ladders, changing all the light bulbs, so we haven't sat down on this Sunday. It's been a very Sunday. But to top the Sunday off, I am going to attempt to make the swim mold version of... Mints and dumplings. Mints and dumplings with turkey mince. Yeah. Yeah. Onions and carrots, and I think mm. that'll be. Get a lot of edge on that. Yeah, yeah. I think Can't wait. Edge. Welcome to uh, what I'm trying to do is make lunch. So, tea even. So, that's what my dumplings are officially looking like. It's just a little bit of self raising flour, some butter, and some water, and some sea salt, and some black pepper. Looking alright. The feel. Like, I could just plonk them in to the what's already cooking, which I've got to take out in a couple of minutes, and I'll show you then. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully, it'll turn out good. I've seen an ingredient online where you add, like, Worcester sauce, which everyone else does, but it says, for a bit of a twist, add a bit of balsamic vinegar. So I have. So, let's hope it turns out fantastic. There is me dumplings in. Perfectly well done, I think. So, gotta whack them in now for half an hour to 40 minutes. See how it is. The end result is here. I think it's turned out wonderful. I had a lot of taste, and it is really tasty. And then we've got enough left for work tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that's dinner officially done. Uh, I've just finished writing the recipe in a little cookbook. That we have, full of all of our wonderful things that we have cooked throughout, well, since we've been together, isn't it, really? Yeah. Uh, I loved tonight's food. I thought it was amazing. Not because I cooked it, but because it was actually terribly nice. And Although I could tell it was turkey mince instead of beef, but you know what? It, 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 was, still, it was still really nice. And it was lovely. Yeah. I am very happy with it. And we have more tomorrow for lunch. Yeah, we do. Yay! That's good. So, I'll wait on that for lunch. So, almost forgot to say, if you like, give us that little thumbs up. Because we really do appreciate it. Like, we've, we've been given, you know, we've been getting some good good feedback and we've had it. So, yeah, if you like it, thumbs up. And obviously, also hit that subscribe button because it means a lot. And comment down below. Yeah. What your feelings exactly. about our little journey. Exactly. So, thanks, guys. See ya.